Good morning, students of Fields Elementary School. I'm very excited to be here for your career day, and I have a video to share with you guys about what I do. My name's Rick Astorga, and I'm an associate band director at William Howard Taft High School. Uh, I am also the percussion instructor here at Taft as well, so I have two things. I do band and I do percussion, and it's just a lot of fun. I can't wait to tell you guys all about it. So how did I decide that I wanted to be a band director? Well, I wish I had a story to tell you that my parents were band directors and their parents were band directors, my whole family's musicians. Uh, that's, that's not the case at all. I discovered music when I was in middle school. So I did a lot of stuff and I, I did sports in, in, in elementary school. I kind of started doing sports in middle school, but then I kind of found a, t a path into music. I played piano, I played guitar, I even sang a little bit, all just for fun, you know? Uh, and then I discovered drums, and that was it. It was drums, everything else, all the way up until now. I love playing drum set, I love playing uh, drum line music, I love all that stuff, and that's what's kind of fueled me to go through life and achieve so much that I have so far, is just I love to play drums. Let's see, I am from San Antonio, born and raised. I went to elementary school at Carlos Kuhn Elementary. Uh, then I went to Jordan Middle School, go Jaguars, and then I was the second graduating class at Earl Warren High School, go Warriors. I applied to uh, college and I went to two years at Blinn College, it's a two-year college, and then I transferred to Texas State University. Uh, and my path has been just amazing since. I love both schools so much and they've both taught me so much. Uh, so when I went to school at Texas State, it was more of a band director school. After you do a year or two of college, you kind of do all your basics that they say. Everyone's got to take math, everyone's got to take science, all that. And then the last part of it is the main focus of what you're about to do. I call that band director school. Uh, so they teach you everything you need to know. Of course, you need to play all the instruments. You need to learn how to play flute, clarinet, trombone, saxophone, drums, everything. You need to sing, violin. You get the whole realm of what it means to be a music educator, which is great. I loved every minute of that, and it never felt like school to me. It was just, I get to go to school and learn how to play a cello, or learn how to play a violin, or a clarinet, or a trumpet. And then the last part, of band director schools, they kind of send you out into the real world to student teach. And that means you get to go into a, an actual school, public school, and maybe you've seen some student teachers in some of your classes, but I got to observe and I got to teach a little bit and guess what? That was a tapped high school. <laughs> So I guess I did a really good job, perhaps. Uh, and then a few years later, uh, a position opened up here, which uh, they offered to me. And I've been here for seven years since. So it's been a tremendously fun experience. So a typical day for me. <laughs> oh, that's gotta be fun right now. Um, so because of COVID and everything that we're experiencing right now, not a single day feels like a typical day. I bet your teachers can tell you guys the same thing. I know you guys feel the same thing compared to life a year ago. So I'd really like to talk more about my career when we're not in a pandemic. <laughs> um, I show up to school uh, about an hour before the first bell rings. Uh, we teach a typical day, eight periods. Uh, my, my drum line is in first period, and then my front ensemble is in second period. I teach an instrumental music class, and then I also assist with the concert bands. In the middle of the day, I hop in my car and I get to go to Briscoe Middle School and I get to teach the beginning percussion class there, the sixth graders that are just starting out. I also help out at Zachary Middle School and teach them some of the percussionists there in all hopes that I can, I can have them come to tap. That way, I've taught them the skills I taught them how to drum, and now they come to tap, knowing all that stuff already, and we can just keep going from there. So after that, um, in the fall, we have an after-school uh, marching band rehearsal where we work on our show. Um, we have drumline there, we have front ensemble there. We put every piece of each class together out in the field, and we work towards our marching competitive show. Uh, this past year, we did a show on Carmen. 
It was kind of like, yes, Carmen the Opera and Carmen uh, San Diego the cartoon, uh, the game show kind of deal. So we put those two together to make this show called Carmen. And that was a lot of fun. So it's a lot of teaching throughout the day. Uh, and there's never a dull moment, but it's so much fun to work with so many different types of students. All of them so eager to learn, just like I was when I was their age, and so eager to drum. And it's very, very rewarding. So the best part of my job, kind of segue into that, is I love seeing the growth. Based on what I do, I get to start beginners, teach them in 7th grade, 8th grade, hopefully they come to Taft, and now I have them for freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year. So the, one of the most rewarding things is seeing that growth. I, it's kind of cool to teach the same student for seven years. There's a lot of growth that can be been. I just love seeing how, the kind of person that they develop into. And it's very, re very rewarding. Uh, once they graduate, we get a little bit emotional because it's, uh, it's very rewarding, but at the same time, it just happens so fast. Uh, Fields Elementary, it, it may seem slow right now, and I know high school may seem like a lifetime away, but I, I'm telling you this, blink and you'll miss it. It happens in an instant, and before you know it, you're off to college, or you're off starting your career, you're off starting a family, and it's crazy how fast it goes, so I really try to enjoy and cherish every single day I get to work with these students, and I also set very small goals throughout the day so that there's just so much time to celebrate and reward. And then at the end of the year, it's just one big celebration. Everyone graduates, we finished all this stuff, we finished our competitions, and uh, it's also very, very rewarding. So the question is, what does it take to be successful? There's no, sh there, there's no secret answer to that, and I'm sure you already know. You just work hard. You wanna know what your goals are, and you wanna be able to, to work towards those goals. I set goals for myself all the time, be it small goals or large goals. I set that goal and then I make steps to achieve that. I, I teach better, I focus better, I, I work harder. And it all kinda comes down to that, is just know what you wanna do and know the path that you're going to take. Um, it is gonna be a long and slow path, but as long as you notice the progress that you're making, whether you want to make a, a sports team when you get to middle school or if you want to get better grades, know what you want to do. Have the end in mind. I'm sure you've heard that before. And then you can kind of pace out how you're going to set each small goal in order to achieve uh, the big goal. Fields Elementary students, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope I've inspired you. I hope you've learned something. I hope you've enjoyed this because uh, it's been a lot of fun uh, putting it together. Be sure to thank your teachers. Thank all your teachers. Thank all your, your, your staff at your school, your counselors, your administration. They do so much for you guys. And especially with what we're going through right now, everyone's working really hard to make sure that you guys have the best education possible. So be sure to thank all your teachers for putting all of this together. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much. And I really hope to see you soon.